Yo, what's up? It's your boy Ryan Rye Beats. How's everybody doing? Guess where we're at? We are at, well, it's over here. We're at Pinto Mize right now. We were just at the GPS show in Long Beach today. So the show's over, as you know, but we're gonna take a trip here and stop by our good friends at Pinto Mize. Let's check it out. Before show you everything, got my man here, Chris. How's it going, Chris? Hey, man, how you doing? Yes, Chris, how's it hey, going? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. So, last time we were here, you guys remember? Here's the video up here. Um, the showroom was empty because we were at the impression show earlier this year. But now, look, we have machines lined up, and Chris, we're gonna go over the machines, right? Yeah. Oh, let's let yeah, let's start on the front. Let's start on the front. Let's yeah, go. I'll show you some of the finished products. All right. There's some light on in here. It's a Saturday, so everyone's everyone's home. At home, but <laughs> just show some of our products. Um, you know, we've got some really bright colors. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is one of my. This was the first shirt I made for Printemise about nearly two years ago. This has been washed, I say, a hundred times. You know, you can even see that the transfer starting to fail on here. You do see a little cracking in there, but 100 washes, but this looks like brand new. Yeah. So again, this shows you a DTF, but the less ink, and this is why we have line thickness requirements, because the finer the, the less the ink which goes down, the less the adhesive grip in, you will fail. So that really does show you from having a fine print to a hmm. nice big print of the difference with durability. And right. here's another one which our product really, really different. This is a nylon jacket. Okay, hold on. I know you guys are talking about nylon. Can you print on nylon? Look what's going on right here. So, so this, this is, is nylon, This yeah? is our proprietary super low melt adhesive. So even if you've got another DTF, you can use this adhesive to check with us. Some ovens are not compatible because it is a special adhesive. It will go on anything. Nylon, we've got people putting it on wood. This is a little scratch test we've done a video on and took a pair of scissors to it. And you can see we've even damaged the, uh, the nylon here. But <laughs> Man, the, that's messed up. The, pr <laughs> the print's still good. <laughs> yeah. So before you move on, what, what, can you explain the super melt? So super low melt. Oh, super low melt, I'm sorry. So super low melt is an adhesive. You know, I've been in the industry for 30 years. We've been screen printing heat transfers and supplying big names such as Nike, Adidas. And uh, throughout my years, I have worked with a lot of adhesives. So this is a European adhesive. I can't tell you too much about it. It's very, very unique. Um, it is a poly-based adhesive, which means it will go on to a wide variety of garments. But most poly adhesives are incredibly hard. Ours one's super soft. So it's super versatile. You can apply it as low as 240, or you can apply it as high as 320. So it has a huge, um, application range. So if you go right in the middle, it's a, it's sort of a no, um, very easy to yeah. use. You know, you don't yeah. have to think about it. It will go on any fabric. So it's probably the most versatile adhesive on no. the market at the moment. And it's top secret. Just <laughs> and then this is what you can do with it. We're, oh, here we go. So I'll this, this was applied, peeled, and then you have to do it pretty quickly whilst the adhesive is still warm. You can just unzip it and that's gonna do a perfect break. Wow. So great. That's so great wait, what are you saying? I don't have to cut it, it'll just no, the zipper yeah, will break the it. The zipper will break it. Wow, okay. So that's awesome. Man, look here, here's another nylon guys, check it out. Man, that looks nice. It's nice and soft too. That's good. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so this is uh you know, a couple of things about us, you know, we have the fastest DTF on the market. We can print uh, over 400 square foot per hour with our Peregrine X4. Uh, we have the best industry warranty. We do a full year comprehensive. Unlike other people who say, well, we've got to check your print heads. Did you, you know, was it your fault why they damaged? Right. No questions asked. You get, with our forehead, you get up to three replacements. 
no questions asked. If you mess them up, doesn't matter. We're gonna give you a free printer heads. Printer heads are $1,500 each. No questions asked. No questions asked. <laughs> Outstanding support, seven days a week support. I give my number out, I'm one of the techs. I have calls on the weekends. I know your business doesn't stop, so right. we don't stop. Uh, best DTF transfer, we've already gone over that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously exceptional service. We just, uh, if your printer goes down, um, we will be able to print your transfers for you and we give you a 50% discount. So basically, or you may just have, you know, too much work on, you can't handle, which is always a good thing. Wait, wait, 50%? Yeah. I mean, you can't beat that, right? You can't beat that. 50%. Wow, that's great. Cool. All right, let's, let's, let's go walk in. I'm just going to follow you, Chris. All right, we've got some of our heat presses here, which we do. We're the official mean distributor for the US. So we have everything from label presses, hat presses. Um, this is just a good starter press. And then Ryan, you've got our uh, our jewel. Yeah, I got the. You guys seen it on the video, right? If you haven't seen it, it's right here. I got the dual like semi. -automatic. It's a semi-automatic. Yeah. We call it the TQA 4050. Yeah, right. yeah. So I still have to move it side to side, but it is pneumatic, right? Am I saying that right? Yeah, I'm saying that right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but hey, I'm looking at this. This is a label. Yeah, so this is great. This one comes with a 5x5. Five five. You also got this attachment. Ah. So this is great for doing your inside neck labels. You've got a high travel, so you can really get some stuff under there if you're mm. printing on thicker media. And again, this comes free with the press. Our bigger presses we don't have in. We've actually totally sold out at the moment. Like okay. the carousel, we have a four station carousel that will do up to 250 shirts per hour. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen that carousel, you, everybody was talking about it at the Impression Show this year. Just watch the video, just watch the video, <laughs> you'll see. It. But I'm kind of interested in this one. Now we'll hook you up. All right, we'll, we we'll, 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 we'll talk, we'll talk. <laughs> All right, so, okay, so we're, we're, we're going to talk showroom. about that later. I know you guys don't want to yeah. talk about that, but <laughs> this is the showroom floor. Look at that. Wish it was my showroom floor, but what do we got going on here? Want to start over here? Yeah, so this is our DTF cutter. And it's the first cutter, which is uh, this is actually our older model. We got a brand new model we've just pulled out. Um, so we're actually going to be doing an uncreating video with that soon. And a lot of people are selling this. We've got some of the best prices. Um, so this unit, I think, is on sale now for a little over 10,000. And got beautiful features. It's got a camera to read the dots, registration dots, so you can do cutting, you can do contour cutting. You can even cut vinyl, reflective film, wide variety of applications. It also has, the camera can read barcodes. So you can have multiple gang sheets and as one gang sheet comes it reads the barcode it's going to pull the file and then super excited because of with the new model we've actually got a little bit wider so you can actually cut the full width of a uh, 23 inch roll this one can can error out and that's why we went back to the factory and we had them actually make it a little bit wider we've also now taken this control panel we've put it up here a little pedestal so it's a lot easier to operate and um, it's got some other great features. One of my favorites is it's now compatible with CadLink. And everyone knows CadLink's great rip software. So you can go straight from your printer and then send your cut file to the cutter. So that's a great new development we're really excited about. Cool, now be before I leave, I know some of you guys are new to DTF and the lingo and things like that. So explain to me a little bit about gang sheet. Cause the, way, the reason why I'm asking, I just got a customer today asking about what's a gang sheet. So explain what a gang sheet is. It's better for me to show Oh, there you. we go. We're going to show it. Do a little bit of show and tell. we got a customer here. We're doing a couple. This is actually both our super low melt and our new super stretch, which is one of the softest, is the softest adhesive. So this is a typical example of a gang sheet here. Um, the only difference with these two is the adhesive on it, but you can see the colors. So what this customer's done is just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different designs up within the space, and that's what a gang sheet is. Right. So once again, you don't have to have one design. You can have multiple designs, as many designs you can fit basically on a sheet. You so that's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> gang, gang them up. Exactly. You're buying the space. So even if you have 
these little ones, you can just put in another one here, another one here, another yeah, one there, etc. Yeah, he could have easily have put in some more right. logos right. in there. And then you just have to cut them, and that's where the cutter really helps. Right. So if you like doing it manually, cutting it by scissors, you can, or get one of these flat bits, right? Here we go. So this is a Nebula. We launched this at the impression show. It's been a huge success. This is by far the easiest printer. We've had this printer off for uh, four weeks, and we turn it on, and it comes straight back up. You get the print head test incredibly quick on it, no fuss. These are very unique. It actually pulls the ink upwards. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, it's got an actual ink pump in it. A lot of DTFs are gravity fed. Right. With this one, this is what helps really get that ink flowing. And then this is our new compact. This has all of the features of a large industrial sized oven. Okay. We have the vacuum, we've got the powder. Um, we've also got, this is a great little um, um, change we've done. Do you ever notice when you pull out your drawer to take the powder out yeah. and all the powder yeah, dumps on the floor? Yeah, all over the place. You got your backup drawer here. So that's, you're not gonna waste a drop of your powder. And so right. at the end of the day, you're not, got a big mess of powder on the floor. Anyway. Yeah, so what he's saying is like, when the powder does fall off the prints while, while it's shaped in the shaker, right? And it goes into that container. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a picture of what I have right here. I have that bucket, it catches the, you know, what's going, right? It, it catches the, the powder. With this, it has a secondary that it'll catch it. So that's, that's pretty neat. I like that. Yeah, it's cool. We're actually gonna now integrate this with all of our bigger, bigger machines. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, I noticed just by looking at this, it has a, um, a rewinder yeah. feed, but it's also belt driven. Yes. So the difference between like our Mavericks, which do not have belts, yeah. and this is pretty much our new design Maverick. So we've taken this, yeah. we put it into a smaller compact. So if yeah. you are working at an upstairs uh, uh, office, you can now, this will go upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, this one, very hard to get through standard yeah. size doors. <laughs> I'll see someone try to bring this upstairs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Um, yeah, so basically what we've done is we've just shrunk everything down. Now, when you've got the vacuum, what that enables you to do is print straight away from the top of the film and then feed it through. Once you get to the vacuum and it, it's, it's, it basically sucks down, it's going to just pull it all the way through. So okay. it enables you to not waste any film. Okay. And there are ways around it when you don't have a, um, a belt like, like a map pop this open so you can have a look because technically this is the same oven here you're gonna have to feed the film all the way to the take up in order for the take up to bring it through right so, and that's what i'm doing right now yep yeah so basically that's it and okay. oh so your one doesn't have the uh nope a, uh, yeah so you can get creative i'm sure you can yeah an old piece of film as yeah. a travel, you know, you just tape tape it on or even right. Teflon. You know, some customers which will actually just have a Teflon, long piece of Teflon and they just secure it to the film and then it can just pull it through the machine. Okay, now going back to the Nebula, uh, what's what? How how big of a sheet do, are we printing out over here? The width. So the Nebula can go up to a 15 inch. 15. So at the moment, the only thing stopping us doing 15 inch is it's really hard to get a 15 inch on the on the rollers. The, yeah, the feed roller. Okay. So we're at the moment redesigning that feed roller so we can do a true 15 inch. But at the moment, we actually recommend 14.5. Yeah. This. Okay. Now, for this setup here, it, I'm. What's the price point for something like this? So we're about 18,000 for this whole setup. Okay. Um, and that includes the warranty, that's everything um, okay. in it. So we put the full warranty in, you get up to two print, uh, print head replacements for it, um, online support training. So it's a pretty good deal. And it's a lot of machine in a small packet. Right, okay. Nice. All right. So since we're over here, let's move on to these two. Yeah. These are these two exactly the same? Exactly the same. This is actually our showroom model, which we're actually uh, we've got someone interested in this. We've discounted this one five thousand dollars to ten thousand, still including the warranty. We are only doing a limited warranty that will not cover the print heads, but you can always add on 
So we give customers the choice. If they don't want the warranty, it's 2,000 off the normal price. So with this one, it would be 2,000 extra. Print heads are generally about $1,500. So it's gonna save you $1,000 because of during a year, you're probably gonna to need to change a print head. Okay. Now, noticing this, it looks like it's one complete unit compared yeah. to like, this is separate units. Yes, this is called an all-in-one. So okay. it's really just a carriage and then your oven sitting on it and your printer sitting on it. Okay. So with this, because we wanted to make this um, more um, easy to get through a standard size door, we decided to separate the two units. Right, okay. Yeah, but this is totally redesigned. The only thing which is similar is the oven. And again, we're using a vertical side just to save space. Right, okay. Cool. All right. This was actually one which a customer, um, we, we do a buyback program. He wanted to upgrade. He had this for a little over six months. Mm -hmm. Um, needed something to print wider, so he went to one of our Peregrines, uh, top of the line Peregrine printers. We traded this in, so we will refurbish this, put new print heads, test it, and then we'll probably, uh, you know, uh, have a great deal for this. Now, since you're talking about the buyback, that's something that you guys, there's a um, program for that that you guys do? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, what, what does entitle with the buyback? Is it just, uh, just. So so, Go ahead. so yeah so basically what it would do is you buy a printer from us you want to start with something smaller and as your business grows we're here to help you grow and we can bring back your printer we will give you a, tra a fair trade um in and then we give you a credit towards your you know your next printer hmm. okay and i know a lot of dtf printers don't do that yeah so, i think we're the only ones yeah which do. so <laughs> that's keep that in mind guys keep that in mind I can't show nope. you this. This is our new. Yeah, we're not. No, no, we're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna <laughs> not gonna talk about it. That's for another video. When yeah, I'm, a, I'm kind of, I'm not doing that right now. We there. do a lot of <laughs> testing. This is from another manufacturer. We don't sell this oven. This is a auto circulation oven. Um, ah. A lot of people do sell this, um, but our printer was actually too fast. It wouldn't cure. Oh, prints. okay. Because as I mentioned before, we have the fastest printers in the industry. Most ovens are not built to keep up with our print speed. So this is good for the two head machine. We're actually going to pair this for a customer with a fluorescent, one of our fluorescents. Um, it works great with two head speed up to 150 square foot an hour. Anything over that, we're having trouble trying to get oh, the... Uh, okay, the, that's fast. It is very yeah. fast. You know, normal printers are probably about 90 to 100 uh, square foot per hour. For okay. A, a two heads, something very comparable. Okay. Wow. All right. So we're going to go to the other room. <laughs> we're going to go to the other room. So once again, this is the showroom floor. You guys can see it. You guys see it. Don't, you can't see that one right there. All right, <laughs> let's go. So a little bit crammed in. This is our shipping area. Um, you know, we got rolls of film over there. Film. Um, we're a little, we're way overstocked at the moment. We've had huge demand. Wow. Um, so we've had to, this is normally our sort of repair area. So it's turned into a bit of a stock room. Wow. But, um, this is everything from our fume extractors. We've got two head and four head print systems here. We've got ovens and we've also got a bunch of inventory out back as well. Wow, this is crazy, guys. You guys should be here. It, look. <laughs> All right, so this okay. is the production area. I guess that's what we're, we're yeah. calling it. So I'm mentioning, like, one... Uh, the other thing we do is a DTF printer is a huge purchase. You want to make sure that your printer is going to be producing good quality products. So we have two four heads this is actually our fluorescent which we were doing some fluorescent printing for customer and with this we are able to try the product before you buy it you can buy it from us per um, linear foot and as i've mentioned before once you have a customer you get 50 percent off our print service but we get a lot of customers they come to us they try our product they try us for a month or two, and then once they're familiar with the product, we can seamlessly go from them buying the prints from us to producing the prints in-house. Wow, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it basically, when, you're, when you get one of these, or if you order from Printomize, 
if you're having issues or if you're having um, backlog, you can always call them and they'll help you out. Yeah, been, and, and we're using yeah. the same printers. So. Yeah, and that's what this is here. I think last time I was here, I forgot who the, who the tech was. He was printing some stuff for a customer. Yeah, right? yeah. So. We normally, so this, we're normally doing around about two to 600 feet per day. That's sort of an average day. Yeah. Oh, I want to show you about this. This is a brand new oven. As I oh, mentioned we before, we always test our products. So we've actually um, just put this in. This is the brand new oven with a vacuum auto circulator. So unlike the corkscrew, which the powder can get clogged, right. this is constantly circulating, keeping right. that powder dry. Um, so very similar design. Um, we have let me just take the cover off we're gonna have a look so down here you've got a little um um squeegee which is going to push all of the powder into the suction chamber behind here and then it's going to bring it up and it's going to put it down into the powder and here you can see where the powder sucked in mm. so very cool but um before we see anything we always test it in a production environment to make sure that the products uh, you know, to the quality which we yeah. sell. So so it, really it, yeah, it's like a, a set it and forget it kind of thing. Dude, you guys saw me, I have to always put powder in it. I have to watch it, make sure there's no, I mean, make sure we have powder. Yeah. It's always falling down. And with that, basically it sucks the powder up, back over, and it just has a circle. It's basically a circulation system. So that's pretty cool. Great. Uh, guys, he said it's brand new. They just got a little stabbing hooked up yet. It, they just probably just you guys just rolled it in here, huh? We just rolled it in last week, so we're gonna be testing this and making sure that it's uh, you know it does everything which uh, the, the manufacturer says. But it's, you know this is the same oven as this one, so you can see the difference. We've also it's also been shrunken down, so it's a lot easier yeah. to put this now through a standard size door. Right. Yeah, it looks like it's. It's uh, not as wide as that, and it's a little bit shorter also. Yeah. Oh, wow. And this is belt driven also? Belt driven, yeah. yeah All okay. for uh, uh, industrial units. Our belt, belt driven. driven. Oh, okay. So you can go straight from the beginning of the film all the way through to the end. Oh, all right. Okay. So this is the older one that he was saying. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yes. All right. Yeah, it was a shame that you're not here on a normal work day when we've got these yeah. these going. They're really there to see the print speed is like you know you, I was at the show yeah. earlier and some of them I didn't even know if they were printing or not. Yeah, it's super <laughs> slow. So yeah, that's and, what we do different. Yeah, it's slow. <laughs> it's we're slow. fast. Yeah. Um, this is uh, a lot of people ask about color matching. How do I get my colors right? And a DTF is tricky. You've got your temperature, your humidity, so many different um, components which have to come together. So as you can see our color charts here, this is how we color match, it's the best way. We are gonna be doing a video about color matching coming up. And really you're just gonna take the color you're looking for and say we're looking for this particular red. We can just go over to our reds here and we can just go, and once we find the red, which we think is a good match, this one is uh, 1785, we drop that into the R, and it's gonna print exactly that okay. color. And it looks like you guys have dates here. What's, 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 what's going on with these dates? In terms of dates, we like to update the color charts regularly, mm -hmm. um, especially between our different lots. Whenever we get a lot of film in, uh, we buy a, a lot of film, and, um, there's a couple of things which we need to do is uh, one, we've got to test and make sure that the colors are the same, that we don't have, um, you know, film could, uh, can, can really change the color. Also, if a film's got any moisture in, that can really affect your print quality. Mm -hmm. So we always date everything and we're always updating our print charts to make sure that they're accurate. Right. So like Chris was saying, any, any ink, new ink you put in, any, um, film you put in, always check your color oh, yeah. profile because there's it, it, even if it doesn't look like there's a slight change to it. Right? Yeah, and you really want to stick with your original, like the original ink. Yeah. Um, it does take testing. If you're ever going to change your ink, you've got to flush out your ink lines, and then you may need to reprofile. So right. if you are buying 
from another manufacturer or you want to change ink supplies, it's really important that you have time to do that testing. Right. It's not just something you can change easily. Right. It, you can. Exactly. It, it, yeah, it, it, it takes it, a lot of work. But yeah, doing it this way, again, it saves you time. And so you know what you're looking at. Because the last thing you want is to send like a gold color, like something like this. And it turns out like that to your customer. You know, yeah. it, it, that's and, definitely a headache. And, and that's what we do. We do color matching. So yeah. for example, if you're using our print service and you have working with a school or a college which has their colors, yeah, um, they're going to call out Pantones. You're going to be able to do your color matching really easily. Right. And that's a good point because a branded companies like a college mm. or, or, you know, a big company like that, they want specific colors and they want those colors to be as close as you can at 98, 99%. So let's look at this. So this is a color match. So this one is for UC Berkeley. Their color is 123. We color match to our color Pantone 1225. Filed, samples. We make sure that when you're reordering, that we're gonna make sure that the color is 100%. Wow. Consistent. Hmm. I don't do that and I gotta do that. <laughs> I should do that, see? Learn something from Chris all the time. All right, so where are we going now, Chris? Okay, well, this is uh, oh, on we a busy day. This is where we're gonna lay out all of the, 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 the designs as they come out. Here's a couple of sheets, which uh, they're probably rejects. So we're always checking when they come out. Always good to put on, and you can see we've got some white, little bit of white poking out of there. Could have been the customer, but again, we go that we also do a same day service. So in by 10, it will ship the same day. So mm. incredibly, no one offers that. And again, if you need prints, if your printer goes down, you can't wait. You know, this industry, yeah. you need to get your prints out very quickly. So this was probably one which we brought up to the customer's attention. They may have sent new artwork and redone it. Um, but again, we're just sort of making sure that we're guiding the customer. The last thing you want to do is you miss this. You've got an important deadline. You yeah. get your prints. You need to get them out that day and you find that there's a problem. So right. we don't always catch 100%, You're right. but we do our best to guide our customers. Right. And when we do see a mistake, but well, we can inform them so we can reprint and get the we are out to them right. as quickly as right. possible. Quality customer service, so remember that. But sometimes you can't see it. And I just noticed that you, you have black tables here. Yes. I didn't even think about that. Okay, hey, All right. Just got, this is our tech room. It's an absolute mess. I'll give you a little bit. We have been cleaning up, so please forgive us. But this, this is where we normally do a lot of the repairs. Um, this is a machine actually, which we hold all the parts, but in this case, we were out of the main board. So what we've done is we pulled a brand new machine and we pulled a main board. So our customer, when uh, when their main board went down, they're able to get their machine up and running as quickly as possible. Nice. Um, it's another machine which we, uh, we're just in the process of rebuilding. But whenever we have our machines come in, if we're not doing an on-site site install, we want to build it here, we want to test it, we video it, so we make sure 100% that you're getting a good quality machine. Right, so, okay. And then if we're doing the install, then we're able to do the build on site. And we like to do that because then we can also show the customer how to install the print heads and sort of give them more, more training about how to replace print heads and how to do the ink lines, etc. Okay, so do you, do you guys send out a tech to do that or is it all Zoom? No, or? no, we do. So included in the price yeah. will be remote install. So we could remote access to uh, their computer and we've got the training videos, but we like to do a one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of times we do FaceTime as well. So we can really walk them through. Um, if you pay the extra, it does depend on where you are. We've, we've done installs in Florida, Boston, New York um all over the country okay. chicago um so in that case we will go out there and we will build the machine on site we will put the print heads in and all of that grease okay so this is wow look at we, that and we also have stock in the uh in the warehouse but this is just easy access so 
A lot of stuff here is just so we can easily pull orders, but as you can see, we always have a lot of our adhesives, we've got our cleaning solutions, we got inks, all that good stuff. Wow. You have literally a whole bunch of inks here, and you have, was it paper, powder and paper, right? So as far as paper, I'm sure you get them overseas, right? Yeah, yeah. And so basically a lot of people don't realize that when you're shipping products especially the film from overseas you normally see that it always has those silicon packets in it right they do not like moisture so tip one never keep your stock in the same room as your dtf you want your dtf room to have about a 50 percent humidity and over time that humidity is going to get into the film so what we do is whenever we have a shipment come in we dehumidify it in here we've got a dehumidifier at the back there and we normally leave it for about four weeks and that really helps climatize the film so when you um when you uh when we sell a film we make sure that it's one it's tested but we've printed on it we've made sure that there's no issues and then we're declimatizing it for about four weeks in the stock room. Four weeks. All right. Fully stocked. Fully stocked. One quick question. So, like I said, if I got, I got the, what is it called again? The semi-automatic press. Yes. Seems like a long thing to say. Yeah. So, let's say something goes down. A piece goes down or I need something replacement. Is that something that you guys have on site here? Yep. Or is that something that I have to order? It comes from no, overseas? We, we have, so the print wise America difference is, yeah. for, as you said, you're not gonna wait. Your company can't wait right. two weeks right. to get a part in. So we have all the parts here. If we don't have it, we have the machine so we can always take a part off. But we have about 90% of the parts okay. in stock, ready to go. Everything from emergency buttons to yeah. new um, touchscreen displays, yeah. um, pumps, you name it. So right. we can pretty much build probably a printer with all the parts we have right. here. So again, some of you guys are asking, everything's going overseas. Maybe, but as far as parts go, if you get it from Printomize, they have them in stock. And we're not gonna show you, but most of the parts are behind mm -hmm. these. <laughs> all right? Yeah. Cool. But once again, hey, this is Printomize. I wanted to come back like I mentioned to you guys and we're gonna do a full on video of the showroom where all the machines are here. And this year or this coming year of the Impress Show, there's some big things happening, right? We got some great things. Yeah, so we're so. really we're really gonna go all out in the impression show in January. Woo. We're launching our eight head. It's uh, a beast of a machine. Yeah. So we're really trying to target more towards mass production. There you go. And that's, our, uh, that's really our goal, is to show that DTF can give screen print and run for its money. It can be cost effective and it can be fast. There you go. So you have to be there January to see it. All right, well, Chris. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Always. All right. All right. Once again, Ryan Beats. Hey, this is the Printomize tour or retour i don't know yeah part I two i don't know <laughs> yeah all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one later